Hello YouTube. I originally had my solar wind set up just to a battery and I decided I wanted a grid tie so I'll kind of try to explain how I did everything. I have a this is my wind. It's an Eagle 2. It's just a cheap 250 watt. I'm just beginning, so this is what I started with just for goofing around. Um, I think I, I got it off eBay for 149 bucks. Anyway. I'll start out with some of the parts that I had to buy. I bought two buses for the battery, one positive, one negative. Uh, they're Blue C. I had a hard time finding them. Five sixteen cents studs, and they'll handle up to two hundred and fifty amps. And those, so you just have one lead going to your batteries. And here's two more. I think they're about $35 a piece. These will be for my solar coming in. And it just has two studs on each bus. And then screws. So you can screw in your wires from your solar panels. I'll have, right now I have four 65 watt and they're monos. I'm in a residential so I wanted to keep them light and smaller so they're less noticeable. I haven't put them up yet. I'm, I have another video that I made that shows I'm building a pole that has an adjustable mount but for that. And I also have the 45 watt Harbor Freight kit that I'm going to hook up to this too. So I should have around 300 watts of solar and 250 from my wind for now. I'm planning on getting some more solar panels and uh, probably upgrade my wind turbine to a 400 watt. Thinking about a wind max, but I'm still looking around. Also bought three of these blue C switches off of eBay. This one's just on and off. It disconnects the battery. So this lead will go to the battery right here. And that will disconnect everything so you can safely work on on this board. Also bought a MPPT control charger. It's an Intronix uh, 75 amp. I'm not sure how good it works. I don't have anything hooked up yet and I haven't tried it. I just got everything wired and I wanted to show everyone what I did. This is the Missouri Wind and Solar. I think that was 180 bucks for your divert load controller and the relay. These switches will take a lot of amps too. I think it was like 300 continuous amp. They're heavy duty. The other switches are The, the two other switches, there's one for the wind, and there's one for the solar. They have an off. One goes to the battery. Off. Two will be just straight to the grid. And then one and two will be to the battery and the grid. A 
let's see, what else did I buy? Oh, I bought these two 500 watt Sun grid tie inverters. One of them's for wind, and that will have the four positive, negative, and then two for the the dump load. The solar just has the positive, negative. I had more black, this is number four welding cable. I had more of the black so a lot of this where you see the black and red, I just put red tape on the black wires and that indicates that it is really a positive lead. Try to explain how this works. Your wind, this is my wind disconnect. If I get if I upgrade to a another wind turbine, I'm gonna get a I'll probably get rid of this and just get I'll have to get a rectifier so I can rectify it down because most of them come like in 24 volt three phase. Now wreck it back down. This is this whole thing is all set up for 12 volts. Rectify that down, and then I'll have a on, off, and a break for that. But right now I just have it set up for my little 250 watt. The this here is a blocking diode, and this is where my positive from my wind will hook up right here. The blocking diode just Let's current go one way in from the turbine into the battery. Therefore, it won't let the drain your batteries. We go in, that hooks to the disconnect, the positive. That goes out, and that runs through a, a breaker right here. This is a 40 amp breaker. And it, if, if it's too many amps coming in, it'll trip, but it'll reset automatically. I just bought that at the auto parts store, I think, 10, 15 bucks. Anyway, there's the positive going in there. And that will run up to the switch, the common on the switch. We'll say we're on battery, just charging the batteries. The positive will come out through here, goes through this this uh, amp voltmeter, up, and then that hooks to this part of the relay. This controller just controls the wind. Okay, I'll call this update number one. My camera's low battery, so I'll start off right here on the next video.